happy Halloween. I'm super excited. Um, and today I am going to give you my final update on my 13 by Halloween. I started this at the very end of September. So I only had about a month and a week to do this. And I, that was 13 products, which is a lot. I ended up finishing up 10 of my 13. And two of them are almost finished. That um, Two of the three that I didn't finish. But 10 out of 13, that's pretty good. I'm also going to show you all my costume and stuff just because I have time. Um, so, I'm going to get into the first five products that were already finished in the first update, which I'll link the original video and the first update down below. First is this Manicadar Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. I didn't really think this did anything. I'm glad it's out of my collection. Pretty much everything that I put in these videos, I don't love. I just want to get finished with them. Um, next is this mascara combo, and there still might be like a tad bit of product in here, but they started burning my eyes, so I said, uh, done with you. And it's the CoverGirl Exact Cover Girl, excuse me, Exact Eye Lights Mascara and the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Batter Blacker Mascara. This is a great combination. This has a really crazy natural bristle brush that's just like everywhere and big and voluminous. And then this has a rubber bristle brush, but it's really good for separating. So, stop! Stop! That was Kanga fighting Kippa. So, great combination. Um, liked those a lot, but I have so many mascaras, so I'm not going to be putting this. Y'all, drop that right now. Y'all are, it's not time to play. They've been sleeping. They always do this. They'll be sleeping, and then I start filming, and they're like, woohoo, let's be crazy. Um, next is this Dr. Chart BB Cream. I have a full size. This is the shade Light Medium. Love it. And the Josie Marin Argon Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. Did not like this. So those five were finished in my first update. And then I finished up five more. I'm really excited about these five. Um, first I finished up the Smashbox High Definition Concealer. This is all gone, nothing left. I really, really liked this. Well, that's a lie. I liked the shade match, although it was a little bit yellow, but it looked bad under my eyes, it looked a little dry, and then it just kind of accentuated some dry patches. Not my favorite concealer, and it didn't have the highest of coverage. But really excited to be finished with it, is really what I should have said. This Kula Mineral Sunscreen Unscented Matte Tint Natural BB Cream. Um, this is all gone. This was fine. It just didn't really do a lot. It was a nice color match. It just, I wouldn't pay for it because I didn't think it did anything. This is a huge, highly hyped product. It was totally new when I started this a month ago. It is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I didn't like this. I know it's really hyped. This shade was medium and it's a little dark for me first and foremost. Um, I should probably show you all the product. But besides that, the it just like sat on my skin and it was very obvious I was wearing makeup. It didn't kind of meld in and look nice. So not my favorite. And then I used up these two lip products. This was from a Lorac Rockin' Red Lip Gloss set. This was the shade Rock. It was purple. It did kind of start to separate slightly. Um, and it wasn't like super vibrant bright purple. It just gave like a purple tint. It was fine. Not my favorite. What did we purchase? And this Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. I'm so sick of this. It's, it's a nice shade, but it makes your lips so glossy. You can see today, it's not a matte lip. It's the uh, Butter Lipstick in Pops. I think it's in Pops. Yeah. But it's not super glossy because I'm just sick of wearing lip gloss. And you know, like my hair will get in it and then I'll have streaks across my face. So, but I have a backup of this, which makes me mad. So... Those 10 items are all gone out of my collection. Super excited about that. And now I want to talk about the three items I did not finish. First is this e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. I really would like to get finished with this. And I took out the stopper. And, you know, I've, I've been using it every day I wear on eyeshadow. It just doesn't cling on as well. <laughs> cling on. Star Trek. Okay, anyway. Cling on to my eyeshadow as well as other things. Um, so, not my favorite. But... Um, I've made a lot of progress on that. And then this guy is almost done. So that was where it was when I started. That was first update. I probably have like two or three more uses of it, honestly. Um, it is a little dark, but I think it goes fine. It just, again, it's kind of like the It Cosmetics. It looks like makeup. And I don't like makeup that looks like makeup. I don't think anybody does. And then, last but not least, is this, which I said in the last video I wasn't sure I'd finish up. The Body Shop Eye Definer. So I have my little my little sheet and that was where it was when I started first update second update so you can see I did pretty continuous usage of it 
Um, it's just really hard. It's not super creamy. Um, it's on my upper eyelid, and then I put it in there. It's fine, but I don't really love it. I would have liked to finish that up. But, even though I didn't finish up all 13, I still made really good progress, so I'm really happy. So now let's get into my costume. My friends and I are all going to be characters from Snow White. So we have the seven drawers. We have Prince Charming. We have um, the witch, like when she gets evil and gross. We may be having a mirror. We're not sure yet. And then we have two boys, and the boys are going to be the evil queen when she's, like, pretty. And then Snow White is a boy. So we're really excited. Um, but I wanted to show you all my costume. I'm going to a bar crawl, so we didn't want to have, like, a lot of props or crazy things because we're going to be out for, like, 12 hours. So we didn't want to have a bunch of stuff to have to carry around, um, which is something I think you should be cognizant of. Just in general with Halloween, because some things are a great idea, like giant beautiful wings. Great idea in theory, but then when you actually get to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, I have this, everything that I'm wearing, and then I also have a pickaxe that's cardboard, but I'm going to stick it in my belt. So, I'm going to get up and show you all my outfit. So, I'm Dopey, and I got this dress from Rue 21. It was like $20 or something, but it's big. It's too big for me a little bit. Like, not really. It doesn't look like gross. But I got the biggest size they had because Dopey's dress is, he's, it's too big. And everyone else is wearing pants, but Dopey doesn't really wear pants, you know. He just, his thing is all the way to the ground. Um, this is a crown royal bag uh, because it's going to be like my purse. And then I have on brown boots. And this belt was from Rue 21. You see that I have these two big gold buttons. They were not originally on the dress. I sewed those on there because Dopey has two big gold buttons. And again, the crown royal bag is a really great idea because I just, it's tied around my belt loop so then I don't have to carry a purse around. And in here is my phone, mints, Advil, and my wallet with my ID and stuff. And then I've got my beanie, which I don't love just because I feel like a doofus, but I'm not a beanie person. But there you go. It says dopey on it. We all have beanies with our names. So here's my costume. I am dopey. Again, I have a pickaxe. Which is cardboard and it's got jewels and we're going to put it uh, in my belt. You know, we, all, we each have one. Um, but one of our friends made that and we're going to all meet together. So this is my Halloween costume. I'm super, super excited to all be together and just have a good time. Um, so let me know what you're doing for Halloween in your costume. Again, this was really easy. Um, I think we're going to look really good. Like, we were all hanging out last night to like kind of do some finishing touches and I just... It's really coming together. All the other girls have beards, but obviously Dopey doesn't have a beard, so got a little lucky. I might be putting my hair up in this, but I don't know. I feel like I, I don't really like that look. But anyway, um, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it just is proof to me, like, I'll probably wear this dress again. I think I look good in it. Um, the, this was free. Uh, it was actually my friend's, uh, but it comes with a, you know, if you buy a bottle of Crown. This was like $8. This this was kind of expensive because I needed a purple one. But, you know, it's just, it was fun and it's easy. And I just think it's a really good idea. And I just, you know, I want to like tell you all that you don't have to go to Party City and spend like 200 bucks on a costume. Because that's a lot. But, this is my dopey costume. I'm really excited. I used up uh, 10 out of 13 products. I'm really excited about that. I'm just, I'm really love Halloween and I'm happy. Um, so, I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch. It means the world to me, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.